Prince Harry summoned to see Queen after delivering enormous slap in face to royals. Prince Harry was summoned to see the Queen following his enormous slap in the face to the royal family on announcing his departure. Harry and Meghan Markle remain a part of public life and discussion despite leaving the royal family over a year ago. While the pair spent most of 2020 in relative obscurity, this year has seen him feature in a string of interviews and publicity events. The most controversial appearance came in March when they sat down with US talk show host Oprah Winfrey and accused the firm of failing to address Meghan's mental health struggles while also making allegations of racism by family members over their firstborn. Claims the palace said it took very seriously and vowed to investigate privately. Harry has since spoken in a podcast and during the first episode of his and Winfrey's new Apple TV Plus series. The Me You Can't See, about his struggles with mental health, appearing to lay the blame on senior royals like the Queen, Prince Philip and his father, Prince Charles. Earlier this month, the pair welcomed their first daughter and second child into the world, Lilibet Diana Mountbatten Windsor. Her first name is a nod to the Queen, who as a child was fondly called Lilibet by close members of her family. Despite the touching tribute, Royal insiders have previously suggested Harry's fallout with his family was enough to damage relations beyond repair. Duncan Larkham, author of Prince Harry, The Inside Story, went as far as to claim that Harry's actions were akin to physical pain for the royal family. Speaking to ABC's documentary, Royal Divide, Harry, Meghan and the Crown, shortly after the Megshi announcement, he said. For Prince Harry to make the decision to say, I'm stepping back, I don't want to be a royal. That is an enormous slap in the face for the royal family as an institution itself. So, Harry was, if you like, summoned to see the boss of the family. This meeting took place at Sandringham and was attended by Harry, the Queen, Charles and Prince William. It lasted for two hours, with royal author Omid Scobie, also speaking during the documentary. Suggesting Harry went into the discussions hoping to see his grandmother who always had a soft spot for him, 